August 13, 2025, China's mightiest rocket ignites the sky. The Long March 5th, China's Fat Five. The tech world is abuzz with recent news. On August 13, 2025, China's Long March 5th rocket, affectionately known as the Fat Five, is scheduled for launch. The announcement has captured global attention. Why is a single rocket launch causing such a massive stir? What's so special about the Fat Five that the whole world is watching? Let's dive deep into what this launch means for China and for the global space industry. In the following sections, we will not only uncover the secrets of the Fat Five and see why it is considered a cornerstone of China's space program, but also compare it to rockets from established space powers in Europe and the US to see where we stand. Most importantly, we will explore the profound implications of this launch for global technological development and world peace and security. Get ready to embark on this journey of space exploration with us. A titan among rockets, what makes the Fat Five so mighty? The Long March 5th, or the Fat Five, is an absolute giant in the rocket family. Standing nearly 57 meters tall, the equivalent of a 20-story building, with a diameter of 5 meters and a takeoff weight of around 870 tons, its immense size was a direct response to China's urgent need for a heavy lift launch vehicle. Traditional rockets had limited diameters, which restricted the number of engines and the amount of propellant they could carry, making them unsuitable for missions like deep space exploration and building large space stations. The Fat Fives Bold 5-meter diameter design not only significantly increased internal space but also marked a major breakthrough in China's rocket manufacturing processes. It signifies that China has joined the ranks of the world's leading nations in rocket structural design and material processing. But that's not the main point. The key is its payload capacity, up to 25 tons to low Earth orbit, LEO, and 14 tons to geostationary transfer orbit, GTO. What does that mean in practical terms? It's like sending 16 cars into space at once, placing it firmly among the world's top two rockets currently in service. When compared to similar rockets from other countries, the Fat Five shows a clear advantage in launch efficiency. For example, the US Delta IV heavy rocket, with its 28.8-ton LEO payload capacity, has a takeoff weight of over 733 tons, while the Fat Five achieves a similar capacity with a more optimized design, resulting in higher efficiency. The success of the Fat Five breaks the technological monopoly of other nations in the heavy lift launch vehicle field, laying a solid foundation for China's future major space missions, such as crewed lunar landings, Mars sample return, and Jupiter exploration. It also gives China a stronger voice on the global stage. Compared to other international heavy lift launch vehicles, the Fat Five holds its own. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, with its 63.8 ton LEO payload capacity, certainly holds the top spot for sheer lifting power. However, it uses a unique three core parallel configuration, three Falcon 9 rocket cores standing side by side, reaching a total length of 70 meters and a diameter of over 12 meters like three ten-story buildings laid side by side. Its complex engine synchronization and fuel delivery system are engineering marvels. In contrast, the Fat Five uses a simpler two-and-a-half-stage single-core design. Its five-meter diameter body integrates a dual cryogenic propellant combination of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, achieving a 25-ton LEO capacity with a simpler structure that offers a unique advantage in engineering reliability and cost-effectiveness. Europe's Arian 5 ECA, a seasoned workhorse, has a payload capacity of only 10.5 tons, about 40% of the Fat Fives. This is because the Arian 5, developed in the 1990s, uses a room-temperature propellant system, which reveals a technological gap when compared to the Fat Fives innovative cryogenic propulsion technology. While Russia's Angara A5 has a similar payload capacity to the Fat Five, the Fat Five has made breakthroughs in core metrics like engine-specific impulse and structural materials. 
Its YF77 hydrogen oxygen engine has a specific impulse of 428 seconds, surpassing the Angara A5's RD0124A engine. The body uses a new aluminum lithium alloy, improving weight reduction efficiency by 15%, demonstrating a leapfrog in technological advancement. From these comparisons, it's clear that the FAT5 is not only a heavy lifter in the global rocket lineup but also represents China's transition from a follower to a leader in space technology. Its successful maiden flight broke the long-standing monopoly of Europe and the US in the heavy lift field, signifying that China now possesses the core equipment needed to build a space station and conduct deep space exploration. It lays a solid foundation for future national projects like crewed lunar missions and Mars sample return and gives China an undeniable voice in the global space race. A decade in the making, the Fat Five's rocky road to success. The birth of the Fat Five was anything but easy. It was the result of a decade of relentless effort by countless researchers. Its development can be traced back to the 863 program in 1986, which first proposed the idea of a large launch vehicle. However, due to various factors, including technology and funding, it never truly took off. In the 21st century, as China's space program developed, the demand for a heavy-lift rocket became more urgent, and the FAT-5 project was finally put on the agenda. The FAT-5 officially began development in 2006 and the following decade was a long and arduous process of tackling key challenges. Faced with the need to break through over 200 core new technologies, the Chinese space team ventured into uncharted territory, where every technology had to be explored from scratch, with new technologies making up almost 100% of the project. In engine development, to meet the demand for high thrust, researchers repeatedly debugged the liquid oxygen kerosene engine, overcoming the technical bottleneck of efficient turbopump operation. For the rocket body structure, they used carbon fiber composite materials to reduce weight but had to solve the challenge of the difference in thermal expansion coefficients when connecting the materials with metal. To improve launch efficiency, the team boldly opted for cryogenic propellants like liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. While this choice significantly boosted performance, it placed extremely high demands on the rocket's insulation and sealing technology. The temperature of liquid hydrogen is as low as 253 degrees Celsius, and any slight error could cause material embrittlement and seal failure. To solve this, researchers developed multilayer composite insulation materials and conducted tens of thousands of sealing tests in simulated extreme space environments to ensure zero leaks. On July 2nd, 2017, the long March 5th Y2 rocket launch failed, a devastating blow to the space engineers. But they quickly formed a failure analysis team, meticulously sifting through vast amounts of data. After more than 100 days and over 300 validation tests, they finally identified the root cause of the problem. After more than 900 days and nights of relentless effort, on November 3rd, 2016, the Long March 5th Y-1 rocket successfully lifted off from the Wenchang Space Launch Center. The moment the flames lit up the sky marked not only an upgrade in China's launch vehicles but also a direct boost in China's launch capacity to 25 tons to LEO and 14 tons to GTO, placing it among the world's most advanced. This success was a crucial step for China, moving from a major space nation to a powerful one and it laid a solid foundation for subsequent major projects like the Chang'e 5 lunar mission and the Tianwen-1 Mars mission. The Fat Five's difficult journey reflects the indomitable spirit of China's space engineers. Compared to European and American countries, which had an early start and deep technical reserves, with the U.S. implementing the Apollo program and achieving a crude moon landing back in the 1960s, the Chinese space team with stubborn perseverance, has made remarkable achievements in just a few decades. This latest launch of the FAT-5 further proves to the world that China's space program can not only catch up but also surpass others in certain areas. Why is the world watching the FAT-5 launch? This launch is not just an ordinary space event. It has profound implications for both China and the global space industry. 
domestically, the FAT-5 is crucial for several major space missions. Space station construction is impossible without it, as only the FAT-5 can deliver large modules like the core and experimental cabins into their designated orbits. It's also vital for deep space exploration, having launched the Chang'e 5 lunar probe and the Tianwen-1 Mars probe. This launch will further advance these projects, laying the groundwork for China to establish a long-term crewed space station and conduct more in-depth deep space exploration in the future.